Hello friends, welcome back. And uh, today we are going to discussing about locus for inside that uh, CSS selector. Okay, if you see my previous two videos, like one is locators and another one is XPath select locator. And there I explain for complete locators how we can use uh, following sibling and preceding sibling and parent, child, self, and starting with uh, and two locators, how we can able to write it and also how what are the ways we can able to create and what is the difference between the related and uh, absolute path. Okay, this all entire information I shown that in particular X path selector location. Okay, please go through that. You can feel that much better than comparing to any other videos. Okay, because there I explained for in detailed format with the less time. Okay, now in this session also, we are going to show you for CSS select. I'm going to show you for complete structure. Okay, basically, when you say for introduction here, the CSS selector side, this is basically a CSS is nothing but a cascading style sheet. CSS is nothing but cascading style sheet means we it will as a language okay which is described the presenting inside the html documentation okay whenever you use the html automatically target to the directly html elements on a web page before loading a page automatically it will hit for inside a uh, html browser interaction and it will get that result once the page is loaded it will show you you will see that failure also, but when it is a uh, failure, right? When it is not loaded immediately inside the time, that moment will get for failure. Otherwise, no. Okay. This cascading uh, uh, style is basically uh, very fast comparing to any other lo locator, even XPath. Okay. Why means XPath or other locators, it will wait for until element loads. Okay, but CSS selector is not like that. It will hit before loading also. It will communicate with the DOM, HTML, HTML documentation. HTML document, it will go and hit that HTML and you will get the result and it will wait for until the page load. Once it's loaded, it will get and it gives the result immediately. That's why CSS selector is a faster than any other output, any other elements, sorry. Okay, here you can able to say by default, we can able to take it as a ID class name. Okay, ID and class name. These are the two ways we can able to capture. ID, how you can able to capture that is a hash symbol. Class name by default dot. Okay, these are the two ways we can able to identify our locator. If you want to identify any other locator, any other option, then how, what is the one means? You have to use a two square braces and attribute equal to attribute value. Attribute value. This is the way we can able to achieve any other attributes. Okay. This is a simple syntax of this CSS selector. Okay. We can see for how ID and class can works. Okay. Now I'm going to do, take it here in this particular specific one only. Okay. First, we'll take it as a ID, ID indication of hash symbol. Okay. Now I'm going to here, yeah, I'll uh, capture this one. And uh, locators demo three. Okay, and uh, here I'll uh, mark it as and comment, and this one I'll mark it as a comment. Okay, and then we are going to use for search right now here, and I'll mark it as this one as a comment. Okay, now here what will happen as per this ID, we need to specify right. Now I'll uh, remove these entire things, okay. Dot CSS selector, okay. Inside that we can able to specify here and uh, hash and value, sorry. 
ID, 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 ID. ID value. Okay. This is the ID value and hash and value. Okay. Now in this particular ID, we need to click on clear and then we need to use for sending the information and enter the information. Okay. These are the things need to be done. Okay. Now I'm opening this one and I'll click for third option and uh, I'll run this third test case. Okay. Now it is trying to open your browser. Now see, it is enter and close it. Okay. This way we can able to do it for third. Okay. CSS selector with the ID. Okay. Now CSS selector with the class name. This is my class name. Okay. How you can able to do? I'll uh, remove this. Uh, Okay, and I'll copy, paste, and uh, class name. I'm going to take the class name here. Class name indication with the dot symbol, right? Dot, and I'm specifying the class name, okay? This is my class name. Again, I'm going to take it here, and clicking for third, and running for third one, okay? Locators one, okay? Now, you see, it is worked out. Like this, we can able to use it. You, we are already told that there are two ways, right? Only ID and class name. Then other attributes, how we can able to take it. We can able to take by using for <laughs> tag name. We can able to specify tag name is optional. Okay, it's not a mandatory. Okay, tag, uh, attribute and attribute value. Okay, attribute is I'm going to take as a name attribute and value of attribute. Okay. Now, control F, two square braces inside that name and attribute. You see, one of one. I'll copy this one. I'll show you here as well. Okay. Name. And what is the difference between this particular locator with the XPath? There, we are going to use for other red symbol. Okay. Before that, we are going to use for two forward slash and the tag name. And then we are going to insert that square at the red symbol with the attribute equal to attribute value. Okay. This is the one we are using. Now this is not required because at the rate is not required and tag name and two forward slashes are not required. Just you can use square base with the quotation with the value of attribute. Okay. This way also you can able to achieve. Okay. Now I'm going to here. Yeah, I'll copy this one. Pasting this one. Sorry. Okay, now this is a name and value, right? I'm going to copy here and I paste it. Okay. Now, if I run this one again, this is basically attribute value using. Okay. See, now also we can able to find it. Right. Now, this way also we can able to achieve. And there is one more thing which is uh, very useful in the real time. Okay. That is called uh, substring matching. Substring matching. What is that? Substring matching. How this substring matching can do? There are three ways we can able to do for substring matching. One is cap symbol. Okay. And then uh, it will match with the uh, dollar, so dollar, okay? And another one is star symbol. These are the three ways we can able to match with. What is the three, uh, what is this first one and these three, what is the main information? Okay, first one you can say for cap, the prefix of the text, it will uh, 
match with the text of uh, starting starting which is the starting value is there right if you match with the starting value the cap then automatically it uh, identify okay and dollar is uh, basically uh, which is the matching text is presented for the last okay and star is it will take any of them starting or ending or anything it will match then it will automatically will find you then we can able to use this is basically we can use in a while uh, creative for dynamic element identification what is a dynamic what is a static static is nothing but is a constant of locators it will not change it will never change dynamic is a some value will change in the starting or ending or middle okay remaining things are constant that moment we can able to call it as a dynamic example like uh, if you see here now the text area is specifying this all elements okay id is presented it's a constant mean uh, it is a static okay if you go for title you can able to change for any time of this title of the value okay starting or ending or middle or something okay but there is some set of value is match uh, constant will be presented by using that values we can able to match with our locators that moment we can able to use this substring matching concept that moment we can able to identify automatically our locators okay this is basically a locator attribute identification time we can able to use it okay now simple way we can able to show you but i don't have constantly changing a locators otherwise i can show you here itself but i don't have but if you have then that moment you can use it now title it is there right now i'm removing here automatically zero right now i'm going to use for here uh cap symbol see starting value is matches that's why it is selected value okay now if i use for star symbol still it is identified because the last value is also matching with that okay and if you use for dollar sorry sorry dollar it will fail because ending value is not match starting uh, star means starting or ending anything if it is match it will capture okay star means sorry star means it will capture for both the places dollar means it will matches with the last cap means starting of the value okay now you can see starting is uh, matches but ending is not match that's why it is not selected okay and if i remove starting but still it is identified because dollar it is there if I specify a star automatically match because both the cases it will matches then it will capture and it will give you okay these are the substring of cases we can able to matching okay any web element and we can able to match these cases okay cap means starting value matching dollar means ending value matching star means both the values matching I mean starting and ending values matching that okay this will help you in a real time most of the time okay it's a very best and even we have for child and last child nth child concepts this will work out when you want to work with uh, uh, child concept how and where you can able to use for the child concept means you can uh, use here register and I'm going to uh, selecting the skills. Okay, now you can see this is my select and this is my ID. Okay, now I'm going to use here. And even we saw about this into a same in XPath also, right? Following sibling and preceding siblings time and uh, those things time. Okay. And now we are used for square base and we paste it, right? And now I'm going to use for less than symbol option okay and here we can able to use for nth child and here we can able to specify what 
see now i'll copy and i'll show you the same path which is i have written this is a end the child concept okay the first child and last child also you can able to use it that moment also it will work out for you okay first child and last child and nth child and the last child those all the things also presented if you change this value keep on change until unless if the element is exist then it will return if it is not present then it will throw an error it is not a find it okay and uh, the first child element you can able to say by doing this you can use for first iphone child okay automatically it will identify first child okay which is the first child it is presented automatically present okay now you can see this is my first child identification purpose automatically see the selecting the skills is my first child automatically provided now if i want to use for my last child to identify See the last child is x x html okay if i scroll here and i think see h html there is a last option you can able to see last option is highlighted this way we can able to find for first child and last child or nth child of options okay this is all about for my css selector okay you can create for n number of locators okay not only a single you can create for n number of locator to identify the first and last and nth child elements and the substring of the best part css selector you can use for substring best okay and if that substring is not work as expected you can go for uh, nth child concept this also it will work for as expected okay I hope it this entire concept is help for you. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.